Hi there. Now I'm gonna demonstrate loading a 12 millimeter wide active component um, coming in a DigiReel package from DigiKey onto a 12 millimeter Yamaha CL pneumatic feeder. Um, very similar to the eight millimeter feeders. The first uh, thing that we wanna do is unlock our feeder we want to press down on our tape advance uh, lever. We want to lift our component guide. And then we want to lock our feeder in as much as possible. Now, recognize that if you aren't too careful with this, it will certainly flop out on you. But this at least does provide some resistance for you. So, just like the um, eight millimeter components, you want to make sure that your leader film to uh, component film interface is good. And you want to check right here. We can see already that um, if the camera would focus for us, uh, we do not have a good interface at this time. So what we'll do is we'll just come under here, lift up on our film we can see that it now comes up very nicely with our adhesive tape. Next same procedure that we did with the uh, eight millimeter active components. Well ordinarily there would be a junction here between the leader tape and the actual component tape. However in this situation it seems they've given us um, just a single piece of tape, which is great. It's less work for us. So on the, uh, the 12 millimeter feeders, the interface between the reel and the feeder itself is slightly different. Um, in this case, we're gonna lift up on this bar and place our components onto this peg, which just locks our reel in place. The rest, very similar to the eight millimeter. We'll take our leader film and get it under this notch. And we'll make sure that we go over this arm. And now we can pull to advance the uh, tape. Again, being very careful that our film on the uh, actual component tape comes up with the leader film. Now here again, just like with the eight millimeter plastic tape, we're bound up a little bit on our first set of component uh, advanced teeth. So we'll kind of use our tweezers to help ourselves out here. Now, unlike the eight millimeter feeders, uh, the tape does not route under and through this whole assembly. Instead, it just comes out of the front here. So no need to really advance it too much farther um, by hand if we don't want to. Although, again, to kind of speed things along, we can just pull here to get it to where our components are just about ready to load. Now that our components are almost there, we'll go ahead and lower our component uh, guide latch. And we want to route our film under this wheel, over the second wheel, and then down here, over this bottom wheel, and then through our film collection gear set. We can then begin to advance our components. And as you can tell, uh, there is more than four millimeters space between these parts. And so what we want to do is we can see here, perhaps, that 
once we get a part we can see. We'll try and get it so that a part will be perfectly exposed. Okay. And so now we'll let it go as if to feed another one. And we'll do it one more time so it looks like we don't have to adjust anything. On some 12 millimeter component reels, the component spacing is larger than on others. And so you may have to adjust the stroke of this gear mechanism to ensure that your parts are correctly advanced. Uh, for now, however, for these parts, it looks like we're gonna be good to go. So we'll move on to our next feeder type.